We've just read Slow Down, Sarah on her motorbike. And in this book, the postman delivers letters to a very funny mailbox. And I thought we'd have a go at May making a cow mailbox. All right, let's put the book to the side. So you'll need a few things for this craft. You'll need a paper cup. If you don't have a paper cup, you could just make a cylinder out of cardboard. You'll need a paper plate, some chenille stems, pipe cleaners, a texter, a pencil, a hole punch, scissors, sticky tape, and for the letter, I'm just using a post-it note. All right, let's make a start on making this funny cow letterbox and you will be able to post letters into the cow's mouth. All right, first thing to do, we need to take a paper plate. The center of the paper plate is going to be the cow's face. Now we're going to just do lightly in pencil first. We'll make a lovely, wide, happy cow mouth. We're going to make some horns up the top and an ear coming out from the side. Two eyes. I better do the horn on the other side, hadn't I? Just lightly sketching in the ears and the eyes, some nostrils, some pupils the eyes and then an area that we're going to make black and white. All right the next thing to do is to make this really really dark and really really black. Now I think I've made this mouth a little bit too big in the pencil so now I can correct that with my black texture. Go across and make the mouth a bit smaller. Now I'm happy with my eyes so I go over the eyes. I put the nostrils a little bit lower then we need to go up to the horns gets a bit tricky with this bumpy surface on the plate. One ear and two ears. Mm. Some eyeballs in the eyes. And then we're going to follow this line down and around the eyes to the mouth. Now, lots of colouring in. With our thick black texture. around the eyes. Now a bit of black on the ears as well. Let's do the other side.
colour around the ears and at the bottom of the horn. Alright, that is our shape finished. So you can still see I've got some pencil marks on there but you can use your rubber to rub out the pencil marks. Now we take scissors and we're going to cut out, cut the um, pleated edge off the plate and around the ear. So I'll cut underneath the ear and then once I've got past the pleated edge of the plate I snip around that. And then cross the bottom of that ear. Top of the ear, around the horn, and back to the top of the unpleated part of the plate. Snip, snip. Nearly finished the snipping. Now we're going to keep this part of the plate to use as a tail, but we need to cut out the, the slit of the mouth. I need to make a hole in there so that I can get the scissors in. I'm going to use a hole punch, but you may not have a hole punch at home, so very carefully poke the scissors in to make the start of your snip, 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 all the way to the corners. Let's tidy up this side. Snip, snip, and snip, snip. Alright, let's make a cow's tail. So I use my pencil to mark out where I want the tail. And cows have a tuft on the end of their tail, a tuft of long hair. So that's the tuft of long hair on the end of the tail. And we want the bottom of it to be quite thick so that we can paste uh, sticky tape it on. Now I'm going to colour in the tail black because we've got a black and white cow. Up it goes all the way to the end, colouring in our black and white cow. Alright, now we'll cut that out around the tufty bit on the end of the cow's tail. Coming down to the very bottom. And up to the end of the tail. Now we've got to put all of this on our paper cup. So I need to make some legs to go on the bottom of the cow and we're going to thread the legs through these holes. Now because we've got a black and white cow I'm going to use one chenille stem and one black stem. I'm going to put them together and twist, twist and twist all the way along. Then I'm going to fold it in half and twist some more. So a cow looks like we've got patches of black and white on the legs. Then poking one end through one hole and then out the other there are some short legs for our cow. Now how many cows does how many legs does a cow have? Four. That's only two. So we need to make some more. Now my 
hole punch won't reach all the way back to the back leg so I'm going to use my very sharp scissors. You'll have to be very careful. Maybe you could get some help to do this. And I'm going to poke a hole into the cup and swish swish turn it around so the hole gets a good size. Now let's do our back legs. Twist, 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 fold in half and twist some more. Round it goes. Now into our hole and carefully out the other side. Now, to make those legs stay in, I'm going to use some sticky tape. Sticky tape over the back legs and front legs. Let's put the tail on so the tail stands up a bit of sticky tape. One side and two sides. Hmm. Our cow letterbox is nearly finished. I think we just need now to put the face on. I think I'll use sticky tape put the face on the front. Goes on the bottom between the legs and at the back one side and the other side. Let's check. One, two, three, four legs, a tail, a body, a face, a cow letter box. Just needs one more thing, a letter. So I'm using a post-it note, which I'm going to fold in half so that the sticky side sticks to itself. Then using my pencil I'm going to draw a stamp in the corner and then write to you on the front. There's our letter. Let's post it into our cow letterbox. And now it's all finished. I hope you have fun making this tricky craft a cow letterbox for you to post things into.